What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So let's be entertained. I think you're going to like today. So it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm just going to preface this as we start off, but I'm looking at um, the shares that are available to short the cost to borrow rate and maybe we'll touch on a little bit of fail to delivers I might have to do that over the weekend so that I don't take up too much of your time But it's the evening so kick back and let's just enjoy a little bit of entertainment If you don't mind smash the like button and I will get right into the information so what I was looking at was kind of What's available as far as the shorts go and what it's doing to our charts here over on Redbox? Um, if we just start, we got to pick a day somewhere. So I picked uh, June 22nd, which you can see highlighted over here in the purple. They had 70,000 that were available. Now, this is only I borrowed desk. There's more shares out there, obviously, from different brokerages. But if we can assume that they're taking them from I borrowed desk at these kind of rates, and then we know that they're probably taking them from anywhere that they can get their hands on them. So just numbers that we can work with. So they had 70,000 that were available on June 22nd. And look how quickly it drops, right? They took almost every single share out that I borrowed desk had to offer somewhere in that 900% cost to borrow range. And what happened? Obviously red candle came down. So then I was looking just to go a little bit further in. Here we have 100,000 on June 23rd that were available. So they located some more. And looking at it, about three quarters of those shares were borrowed out at the 900% rate. So looking, you know, 23rd obviously had another little red day. Come over to... June 24th. Now we have 150,000 that were available, right around 900% that they were ready and willing to take out. Looking at the data there, down to 35,000. So two thirds of those were borrowed, and we see that cost to borrow rate increasing as they were going down up to 1,000% now. It's kind of insane. But I wanted to also look at June 27th. So June 27th, we had, I thought we had 100,000 available. Yeah, it might be on the wrong page here. June 27th, yep, 100,000 available at 1,000% cost to borrow. And we can see that they took them all the way down basically to nothing again come the 27th. So where have we been in that time frame? Just getting beat, right? Beat down, beat down had a little bit of relief beat down beat down beat down and what's going on right now well you know june 30th let's see what's happening so they're still out there you know i mean we only have four thousand available so they're hanging on to those shorts they still have them in their possession and they have not returned nearly as many as they have taken out so they're still hanging on to them probably a little bit returned here they're waiting for another chance to possibly use those shorts um, or they're going to have to return them here at some point you know, and we'll see this number start climbing back up. But basically, you know, from I borrow desk as of right now, it's only 20,000 available out there to borrow if somebody wanted to. So going into Friday, could that be a good sign? I think it could be if they still have those shares. If, you know, we might have seen some of them actually covering a little bit, waiting to use them again tomorrow. Not sure yet, um, but thinking about tomorrow being one of those gamma days from the call options that are out there. Are they going to use them to fight for their puts or are they going to return them to the market? We don't exactly know. They might have got what they wanted, you know, coming down at least from here down to here. Why not? That's that's not a bad profit if you were taking a short. But I want to keep an eye on tomorrow because I know that we have roughly 1.4 million failed to delivers that are due tomorrow, I believe. Um, that would be the T plus 35. So will that come into play? Will some of these shares that were borrowed to go short, will they come back into the market tomorrow? 
or are we gonna see this prolonged into next week the FTDs are just mounting up and I, I will save that for another video because I know you don't want me to just ramble on about everything but let's just look real quick at the charts maybe we can do a little bit of TA just to see how the day went in case you missed my video that came out this afternoon I was saying we did get a chance to break out of that down channel we got rejected by the 200 on the 30 minute and obviously we're riding high on this channel right now so seven dollars is gonna be our support region in this channel otherwise see how we respect these levels 727 when we open up or we could be down here around the 590 range you know it's just been riding so keep an eye on those levels we'll see how it goes let's see if that volume picks up and stays back in the play it looked a little bit better today which was nice to see so thank you guys again for coming back and watching another one let's hope that this thing turns around um, as I've been saying I, I have a lot more faith in next week as long as this play keeps going on but I do like the FTDs that are out there I like the fact that we don't have a whole lot of shares at least with iBorrow desk that are available right now to you know fuel their their ammunition to drive this thing much lower I think they did a very good job this looks like a nice area of support so if it was going to bounce that was a beautiful spot to go ahead and do that bounce let's see if we get back up and head for that gap fill up high all right guys enjoy the evening as always if you don't mind hit the like button you're always welcome to drop a comment or subscribe to the channel stay golden people and may your accounts stay green